me, Jenny Nicholson. I'm the Millennial Falcon. It's the show Millennial Falcon. We used to be on the other channel, and now we're on this channel. On this show, we usually talk about Disney and Star Wars, and today we're at D23, which is a Disney convention. So that includes Star Wars. I brought Mike Carlson because I heard that people like him. I don't know, I've never met him before. Hi, Mike. Hey, what's up? I have two mics now, really, because I have a mic here and a mic here, so. And your name. <laughs> Believe it? It's yep. like a lot of whimsy going on here. So today we're going to find out some news and I guess look at some things. And a Mike's here, but he's just going to follow me around. She's here. I'm here. Mm -hmm. We're in line to go to Star Wars Land. It's right back here behind us. Are you excited to go? Uh, we're actually going to see the model of Star Wars Land. It's not actually the real Star Wars The land, land is back there. We're going to ride both of the e-ticket attractions and eat all the exclusive food. I'm so excited. That's I'm going to get true. a hat. That's not true. I'm going to get a souvenir hat. We just saw Star Wars Land. What do you think? Uh, it's going to be maybe the greatest thing in our lifetimes of like seeing, like it's amazing. It's like yeah. anything you would want if you're a little nerd boy or girl or just a human person. I was a bit disappointed. It was just a model of Star Wars Land, but it still was like five acres big. And it was very big. First of all, my number one thing is that I want to eat meat that's sold by an alien. There's a picture in there that's got an alien who sells meat. And I long for handing him some Earth dollars and him giving me a piece of alien meat that's probably just a hamburger but then I take it and I bite it and I pretend it's from some alien world. I liked that we saw one of the attraction vehicles and it had a droid on the front, an evil looking like R5 droid, and it wasn't just C-3PO, it was just a new droid. So we heard about two rides that we think are coming. One of them is a simulator type ride where you're piloting the Millennium Falcon. It has different options for endings. Uh, so I think it's kind of the new Star Tours. And you want to take the other one? Yeah, uh, the rumor is it's an escape from a prison, like you're in an Empire or a First Order prison, and you're in a little vehicle, and we saw the ride vehicle, and you're being escorted, but something breaks you out. We're not sure the story yet. And we also heard that the big Millennium Falcon is a walkthrough, and that you enter the Millennium Falcon ride by walking through this scale model of the Millennium Falcon. Like at most conventions at D23, it's really about showing that you're the biggest fan out of everybody here. So people like to dress as the most specific Disney things they can think of. So I'm gonna go try to find the most niche cosplays that I can. Hey look, it's the Gammas and Max from an extremely goofy movie. That's pretty niche. Whoa, it's one of the parade support dancers for the princess unit for the Soundsational Parade. That's pretty niche. Oh my gosh, are you dressed as Negaduck from Darkwing Duck? Yes, I am. Well, that's pretty niche. Are you dressed as Ariel specifically from Return to the Sea, The Little Mermaid 2? Yes, I am. Okay, that's kind of niche. So we just saw the animation panel for Pixar and Disney, all of it. What did you think? We've got a lot of stuff in progress, you know, like a lot of things, you know, we're working on this still and it's not done. Don't judge us. But we got a lot of clips from upcoming movies. Mm -hmm. uh, Wreck-It Ralph 2, uh, Incredibles 2, Planes 3. Well, they didn't say it was planes, but it had planes with eyeballs in it. And it's Planes 3. This time they go to space. Planes 3, planes in space. Are you excited for that? I am. The planes are now jets. Were there jets in the first two planes movies? I think so. I don't really know the difference, but yes, I think so. Okay. And they announced an untitled suburban fantasy movie. That's they a had a, a visual joke where instead of raccoons, they have unicorns and they're pests and they just like knock over garbage cans and eat the garbage. Mm -hmm. So I think that could be the best one that they've announced so far. But it seems like it's so early that it could also just get canceled and forgotten next year and we'll never hear about it again. Rick and Ralph 2 went on like an odd tangent also that m the majority of the clip they played was like a spin-off parody of Penelope meeting all the princesses. I guess the princesses live in the internet and that's a strong enough connection to have mm -hmm. them both there. In our story, Penelope's game, Sugar Rush, 
breaks and Ralph and Vanellope have to travel into the internet and find a replacement part, it's the only way to save the game, right? Absolutely. Yeah, well, they, they started it out by like, they visited the web Disney websites. Got a guest appearance from one of our Planes oh. 3 stars. That is cool, though, to see a celebrity yeah, like that. Yeah, well, they all turn up for D23. Would you like to give a rundown on the Incredibles 2 clip they showed? Uh, yes, they showed a clip of Jack-Jack uh, and Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible had fallen asleep, and Jack-Jack had gotten out because he saw a raccoon that was uh, you know, rummaging in the trash. And Jack-Jack has this like pretty brutal fight with a raccoon. And I felt very bad for the raccoon, because the raccoon was like scared a lot and like it like thought it was going to die. Mr. Incredible realizes that finally the baby has powers and he's very excited about it. Uh, he doesn't care about the raccoon. I did like the idea of a super powered baby that since it hasn't settled yet, it's just got the potential to have any power and then I assume mm -hmm. it'll have one power in the end that matches its personality. Mm -hmm. What did you think of Olaf's Frozen Adventure? This is a 21 minute featurette that's going to be released in theaters this November with Pixar's Coco. I liked it. Josh Gad came out and he sang a song from it. And then Kristen Bell was there. And she didn't sing any songs. And then they said, we're making Frozen 2. I think the crowd was most excited about, Sam, what would you say? Sam Jackson coming out. You're right. The and crowd he, went nuts when Sam Jackson came out. Yeah, he came, came out. out for the Incredibles bit when they were talking about the Incredibles 2. Coco, I thought, looks like it's going to be really good. Mm -hmm. They came out and they played one of the songs from it. it was that was thing. really cool. That was the big finale. There were dancers like going up and down the, uh, the, the aisles. aisles yeah. And they had I, confetti. A very high energy music number of like a lot of people in the audience just like, mm-hmm. They didn't know when to applaud, okay? Oh, it's, it's not yes. a concert environment. It was a little awkward. Was there anything you expected to see announced today that didn't get announced? I expected maybe just a crazy announcement maybe that you were like, wow, they're doing this? So, yeah, that's I thought, all. Yeah, I thought they were going to break the mold and we were going to get an animated Star Wars movie. Just straight yeah. up. And it's just like the cute Disney character models, but it's in the Star Wars universe. And then people would go, what? That's a thing you can do now? You can have animated Star Wars movies? Yes, we can and we are. That but, would have been great. But instead, there was a C-3PO cameo in yeah, Wreck-It Ralph. So that is, so that is what happened. It's just in a different, slightly different context. Oh my goodness. It's Hal of Screen Junkies. Oh, hey, it's Jenny from the Millennial Falcon. Weekly. And commercial actor Mike Carlson. Yeah. I hired him to hang out with me today. That's pretty cool. How you liking D23? It's okay. What's your favorite part? I, uh, I really, like, kind of get off on getting recognized and like the only place that happens is cons because I go to my dead end nine to five job, come home to a wife who hates me, children who look at me with contempt, drink myself to sleep, and then wake up and do it all over again. Sounds great, Hal. are pretty stereotypically Disney. Okay, move, move to the side. <laughs> All right, let's be a thumbnail. Get in here. We're gonna make a thumbnail, guys. D23. Yeah. So we saw the live action panel today, Mike. Yes, we did. Is that right? It is Mike? correct. Yes, it is. That's my name, and it's correct. Well, let's go in order. Firstly, we had Wrinkle in Time. It's a time travel adventure about a girl and her father. Oprah was there, so that was very exciting. She did her whole bit, like, you get a poster, you get, she did the whole she did thing. The bit. You, you, you get a poster! And you get a poster! It's like Led Zeppelin playing Stairway to Heaven. It's yeah. like what, you know, that's her thing. That's what yeah. she's known for. Like, so. Then they moved on to Nutcracker, Magic of the Four Realms. I believe it was and the Four Nutcracker Realms. Nutcracker and the Four Realms. Uh, it yeah. looked so bad, you guys. It looked so bad. It's like. Imagine if Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland wasn't made by a man you'd heard of and wasn't about a thing you were familiar with. I want to apologize to the makers of Nutcracker and the Four Realms for <laughs> what Jenny is saying. I'd like to say that I'm open-minded and open-hearted about their they, upcoming film. They couldn't pay me to see Nutcracker and the Four Realms. Lion King. Oh, they Lion showed Lion King. King, a little bit of Lion King. Yep, yep. Looks just like the Jungle Book, they but I like, like the, the Jungle Book. the first five minutes, and it was basically a shot-for-shot shot recreation of the cartoon Lion King, but it's not cartoon, it's animals. 
Um, and that's okay. And like Rafiki, he rubs the powder on Simba and Simba, Simba sneeze. sneezes and it's so cute. Yep. And then he holds it up and then the song play. And, and like John people... Favreau like apologized, which is a bit weird. He's like, I'm sorry guys, just it, movies take time. It's a, it's a lot of work. It was awkward. It was like your dad telling you he couldn't get you what you wanted for Christmas. We heard Aladdin is coming. We saw a right? brief thing about Dumbo. Tim Burton was in a little choo-choo train oh, and he said, hey. Yeah. And he said, hey guys, I'm very busy. I'm so sorry. And then he tooted the train <laughs> whistle. He went beep, toot, toot. And then he wheeled away. A lot of and people then, were sorry today. A lot of people apologized. Yeah. <laughs> Weird vibe for the, for the thing. Then they talked about Infinity War. They brought out um, not every single Avenger, but they brought them out one at a time to make it seem like more of them than it was. But it was, it was a lot. It was a fair number. It was like a dozen. It's like yeah. a dozen of them. They also have these big statue things of Thanos' children. They're his little kids. Oh, Mary Poppins. Oh, right. I'm probably Poppins. the most excited for Mary Poppins. You saw that Mary Poppins is singing and falling into a bathtub. You saw that she's singing to... Uh, 2D animated things, just like mm. in the original Mary Poppins. It's like classic um, Poppins stuff. Uh, and then we had Lucasfilm, and they only had a behind-the-scenes reel. They didn't apologize, but they were the ones that most should have apologized, because mm -hmm. I felt like we didn't see that much from them. I would have liked an apology. Behind-the-scenes reel, could we glean anything from that? Did you? What did you glean? Well, I did finally, because in the first teaser, we didn't see many new aliens, and there mm -hmm. were a lot of little brief aliens, yeah, which I like. Yeah, there was an ostrich in like tiny... a horse stall. Yes. That uh, was nice. Little tiny guys. There was a little mm -hmm. glimpse of this casino planet that's very rumored. Yeah, and you could see a little kid. I guess in Star Wars universe, children can gamble in casinos. Yes, I hope that's true. Or at least stay in them if it's a casino hotel. Or adults we don't know. look like children in this You're universe. You're right. That could be a short alien, and I'm very racist. And then they moved on to the Han Solo movie, and they said, ah, remember the Han Solo movie? We're still making it. They brought out no cast members. They showed a picture of all the cast, and we're like, yeah, we know. They showed no clips, and they said Kathleen Kennedy isn't here because she's hiding in London, trying to fix things. Mm -hmm. I am still quite concerned about the Han Solo movie, uh, but I feel like there was enough dazzle in that to distract people enough, so maybe, maybe I'm the only one. Mm. I'm going to ask people and find out. Um, you are not welcome to join me. Wait here. Oh. Do you think this convention had enough going that you're sufficiently distracted from the huge burning trash pile that is the Han Solo movie? <laughs> I'm officially distracted until I see one more set photo of something that I don't like. Then I will be distracted. Okay. Did you see anything you were dazzled by that distracted you from the horrible wreck of the Han Solo movie? Uh, the Star Wars diorama. Uh, we looked at that really big model of Star Wars Land, which isn't called Star Wars Land, but we're all just going to call it yeah. that, let's be honest. Yeah. That's a great distraction. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's actually been a lot to distract me from the uh, turmoil uh, consuming this film. The Infinity Wars trailer was so good, it makes me completely forget about Han Solo and the need for it. Honestly, the animation panel is probably what dazzled me the most. That's pretty good distraction from the Han Solo movie. And yeah. I actually forgot until this moment that it was rumored that Ewan McGregor was at Disneyland yesterday and today, so everyone thought yeah. they were going to announce the Obi-Wan movie, but they didn't. They didn't. They totally didn't. I'm not even disappointed, because no, I saw so, so much. Yeah, there's, there's so much happening here. Well, now it's time for your segment, Mike. Oh, good. Yeah, I have a really great segment planned for you. It's a really funny bit. That's great. I'm so excited. Let's to it now, okay? Ready? So uh, Jenny told me that my segment is I have to go buy her some chips from the snack stand over there. Although now that I think about it, she didn't really tell me which chips. So I feel like I'm going to go classic Lay's. Yeah. Got a lot of different types of sodas these days. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. It's been a great D23. I, I did so much stuff. Here's your chips. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot. Enjoy um, them. I, I had pizza. I, I think I'm good. Why are these open? Okay, well next week we're going to be covering Comic Con, so they told me to tell you to watch that, do it, or I, I'll get in trouble. I don't know. Thanks to Mike Carlson. I don't know where he went. Did he seem mad to you guys? I didn't ask him to do that much. I thought it was a pretty simple request. Uh, tune in next time. Bye. 
Goodbye. Goodbye.